Hi, Anthony Santos, eh? Mm. Bueno, so we're talking. Hi guys, how are you? Well, uh, all this video together, but been getting channel messages. And sorry, I'm starting our little rescue rescue, and like, I don't look my best, as, but I'm telling you inside, I feel okay now. But before it was just like a lot of purging and a lot of crying, a lot of. But in, in a good way, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. Like, I feel this um, in a good way. And then that too is like, I'm like a sponge. I receive message. I feel everything in an intense level. And this is why I connect with God because he's the one who can like, I can put all my burdens and he takes it. And then, um, so yeah, that's how I'm learning how to transmute and alchemize also negativity, energy, toxicity, or anything around me or within me or externally or wherever he tells me to you know what I'm saying but um I have a message for someone okay uh I, I brought some tarot with me so we'll see but I'm gonna meditate a bit more but I have a message for whoever this is okay have a little faith in me mm, faith in me all right I've been channeling a lot of songs y'all okay so this is a message for someone not to lose faith on someone, okay? And this is God, sorry. He doesn't want you to lose faith in this person. There's a lot of forgiveness going on here. I feel like this person is not coming to you until they feel that you will forgive them. I will explain a little bit how difficult that is probably, it, which is why I think whoever you are, if you're a twin, okay it's a lot of forgiveness going on here okay that's what you're here for okay and um it's hard okay even people that say like oh yeah sure forgive no it's hard like i'm channeling someone or multiple people that like they're so in their feelings and there's nothing wrong with that it's actually healthy also this person the other song that i was getting is from uh show you off okay uh, yeah bent bent fr brent fries fries brent fries fries show you off and have a little faith in me by keith or what is it okay sorry john hyatt it will be in the description below but a keith could be significant someone named keith i don't know um sorry i'm just like in a chair leaning and I told you guys I charge in the water I am a serious mermaid <laughs> and uh, trying to survive <laughs> um, um, it's my chair that's doing that so I'm like moving it but um ooh, I'm just here like trying to ground this energy because this person is like all over the place okay they are anguish okay they this this person feels like their soul is like dying okay or like something is wrong or and i feel like they have done this in a past life okay they're surrounded by demonic people okay that's why i put fuck being calladita for those who are you know case you do decide to flag this thing it's like it, that means like fuck being calladita like silent like this is the energy of this person like and i feel like me too because I'm, it's like it's like oh, i need to put this out and i feel the energy of this person it's like they're so fed up this is specifically for someone that needs a confirmation that their person is awakened i'm supposed to do this video i'm being like reluctant about it the vision because i i don't know i just don't want to get someone's hopes up and then this you know and then guys say it's gonna happen it's like he keeps telling me this so you see we all have to deal with like the self-doubt the self thing and then you know consequences of being disobedient okay so i'm trying to be obedient so don't you the messenger okay 
This is someone surrounded by racist family, toxic family, demonic people, uh, fake ass friends. Okay, in the description below, there's going to be videos confirming that as well about the situation. It's very uncomfortable. Okay, the thing is, is that this person feels now because something happened. Okay, either I don't know what I'm getting. They had a memory. God give them a memory of a past life between you and this person. And this triggered their awakening. Not only that, they did it before. Either this person is about to get married with the wrong fucking crazy ass witch. And they're getting signs and confirmation not to do this, okay? They were also got confirmation and signs before, but they decided to ignore, you know, big ego, blah, blah, blah. And they were talking shit about you with their family, with their friends and stuff like that. They even did some stuff to go against you. So those two channel messages, one is like one and the other one is like three parts <laughs> that could be related to you where, I don't know, it's your decision. Okay. We're just here as guidance to guide you, but you definitely, I'm going to give you some messages, channel messages, but also like give you, um, give you some confirmation as well as i've been guided i've been literally like in my feelings like this person is really they are your yeah they're you okay so whatever they did with the family with the coven i don't know they're a bunch of toxic that's the thing they hate your gut okay wherever you are you're a beautiful melanin i don't know who you are but you're like delicious you're just like beautiful and the thing is it's not just your skin it's not just is the inside okay so I'm here to help you a little bit heal because that's something that I have experienced with my twin as well in a other past life and probably still experiencing it now because I feel like the racist energy is resurfacing and like I said if you guys know in my channel I say it all the time I don't care what people say I don't not give a shit it's an energy it's a truth that it cannot be denied okay racist people have demonic energies inside them this is why they can't look at themselves in the mirror. This is why they don't take accountability and responsibility for their shit. This is why they're usually narcissists. Their ego is so gigantic that this, they attract demonic and satanic fucking ritual people and trying to control and manipulate people like fucking, like it's nonstop. And they all help each other. Your person though is the one who breaks the generational curse of these people, family, whatever they're stuck in. They've always been in this curse. They've been cursed all their life, poverty, they're cursing themselves. They've been doing this for years to control people. Bigots, okay? Your person is awakening to the realization that they are surrounded by demonic entities. And some of them is they're literally their mother or their father or their brothers and sisters. This is someone who lives maybe in a farm or something. I see a farm or very small community like they all talk to each other about each other they all talk shit about each other they don't they don't they lack integrity they're a bunch of corrupt people they're corrupt also another thing the reason is that they're trying to keep your person away from you not only because they fucking hate that you can see right through them they're intimidated by you there's a toxic as fuck mother who hates their your gut okay your person is trying to protect you as well I'm sorry, but in the past they didn't, okay? They behave in a way that is disrespectful, in a way that it will cause you harm, that it broke your heart, right? But at the end of the day, this person realized now that they broke their own heart because you are them. Whatever their family did, whatever dark magic witchcraft that has backfired, it's going back to them, to their own son. Mm. And if this person was involved, they know now why are they getting karma intensely in all their family everybody's getting sick there's a lot of death going on there's a lot of fucked up shit happening financial bankruptcy there's a lot if this person didn't know if this person wasn't involved with this family and now they're seeing their toxic way their manipulative ways and yes in the past they talked shit about you they did something but now it's like this person is like yeah, have a little faith in me because they didn't know. But now they do. But they did know. They're a grown-ass person, okay? 
Um, God show them a memory of you in a past life. You were actually more a little bit more darker. Okay? Or either you were a woman or men. There's no gender here. Take it out of today. Um, and they really love you. Like, it's like... Like, I see that this person has genuine, truthful feelings, but they let all the negative influences of everyone else influence their intuition. The, the, like, literally, they deny in the synchronicities, the messages, everything. Like, this is someone, like, sacrificing and being loyal to toxic-ass people. And they know this. They know that this person, they have them in a, in a like, a chalk hold. Um, because at the end of the day, this person, in order to be with you, they have to go against everyone, their family, their friends, everyone that they have known, they, yeah. But then that's the test of time, right? That will show you if this person truly loves you or they're not for you, right? And even if they were for you, God is testing them. And knowing God, I just know that if he's advocating for this person, if I'm doing this, it's because this person is finally say fuck it and they're gonna speak up they already are though i feel like their energy is like trying to defend you like telling them like i'm in love with this person i feel like this person either are engaged or they were engaged or they were married they're going like they're divorcing someone or they're breaking up with someone like but it's like it's a range also i feel like this karmic um is in cahoot with the family and their family so they're trying to bind these two family for money Something about money. Uh, they don't want to. Um, what is it? They don't want unclean, unclean uh, bloodline. <laughs> Do you see how ridiculous these people are? But they're the unclean one. <laughs> so basically, sorry. I, I just have to laugh because it's just funny. Um, you, the person who has beautiful skin, baby, you're beautiful. Okay, and. This is why healing is personal, okay? Because, yeah, that will hurt, okay? That will definitely hurt that this person didn't pick you, this person decided to mistreat you, this person decided to disrespect you because of your skin color. You see how loser and stupid that sounds? Do you see why it's like the truth needs to be exposed so that other people understand? Do you see how low, do you see me saying that, how low the energy goes? Because it is. This person is recognizing this. The blessing in disguise. Mm. So yeah, this person feels stupid. They feel embarrassed. They feel ridiculous. They feel like all the things that I feel like maybe you have said it because you're very intuitive. Uh, this family could have said that you do witchcraft, uh, dark magic and stuff like that. You probably um, do tarot. And you're really good at it, boo. Oh, your intuition is on point, God, yeah. So yeah, this is not going to relate to a lot of people, especially white women. Sorry. Sorry. Um, or it could be white, white men, too. Like, I don't know. But there's someone here. There's a racial uh, union that is supposed to happen that God has ordained, that God is going to make it happen no matter what anybody. Race is big as whatever the fuck. Faith people, dark magic, witch five, we all backfired. It backfired. Thank you, spirit rebuke it in the name of jesus christ these two twins are going to be together glory be to god okay now god waited to show this person this memory because first they wanted to see the how the character of this person when they're in the pit of shit will come out of that and they will listen to the heart for somehow some reason spirit angel something came through okay to this person and this is what the conviction is so heavy this is why this person is going I, like i'm telling you the ego death the multiple ego death that this person is going through because the fact also they hold a secret of the family and friends or the business that they do something that they do that if this person exposes if this person's get out of the family and like literally leaves this person these people are freaking out because if they come towards you, it's like you will feel their energy. Or maybe this is why I'm picking their energy up because they're watching me. 
someone's watching me, one of their family, their friends, or something like that. This is why I'm picking up their corrupt um, energy. They're not truthful. They lack integrity. They're corrupt. Okay, but your person, they're not. They're chosen as well. This is why this family, friends, or anybody around this person, they need them. This person doesn't need them. <laughs> Your person does not need these people. This is the trap that they're keeping this person in. It's because they're harnessing this person's energy. And also they know that if, they're, if you and this person are merged already in the spiritual realm, they're harnessing the both of you. So this is why here I'm going to teach you a little bit how to also have boundaries in the spiritual realm, in the energetic sense, because this person has to do this on their own. You can enable this person. They have to literally not feel like forced that they have to be with you because it's not forced. Uh, it has to be like a willing, like a, like an undeniable, like no confusion, no, like, like an inner knowing, like, like they're hard, like they cannot live without you kind of thing you know i mean they can you know but it's different you're the divine feminine you know they they're not abundant they can't prosper they can't do nothing without you because you are the yin to their yang and you're definitely not this person's type okay i'm just going to be honest here uh they weren't interested in you when they met you This is why those two messages are gonna resonate. This person could be a single parent, single dad, maybe, uh, or they're gonna be. They're, I'm telling you, this person, like, I feel like they're going to explode. Like, their their heart chakra is open. Like, everything is exploded because God has revealed you in a past life, a memory, something that they have. They also, God is so awesome. You know how God is. He's also showing this person. Um, <laughs> what their life could be like so this person thinks like oh my god i'm constantly fantasizing but this person constantly thinking no that's god yep the fact that you try this person tried to move on okay and so do you like you cannot find like it's just because that there's no one <laughs> it's just not okay um and this is what the realization of this specific twin or this batch or whoever this is they're realizing there's no one can compare there's no competition there's no there's you just can't compare you're just like them you it's like they're looking at themselves like it's a mirror and it's like comfort safety serenity i feel harmony peace like this person feels at home when they're around you when they're with you but they didn't understand that in the beginning they thought that that was like because it's weird this person is used to toxic energy they're used to people like mistreated them or abusing them manipulating so they when they met you they thought that there was something wrong with you or like you're not from the like you're fake or something or like you're too good to be true like wow this person cannot be for real like that's so sad that's really sad and that's why i was crying so much because that's really sad and again if you grow up and with a bunch of races and narcissism no i'm not saying this person is perfect okay i'm not saying that they're a saint or hey 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 hey, hey let's keep it real here okay they were racist there then this is someone being delivered this is someone accepting the call this is someone surrendering but they were not perfect okay this is why they're being judged and now they're judging their own family though that's what's going on too this person can have a dog or yeah Yeah, they, 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 um, yeah, they really chose the wrong path, okay? Uh, it was all ego driven, it was all influence, it was all. Whew. And my phone is gonna die, but, um, I will continue after. Sorry that I'm like showing my ching. <laughs> Whoever you are, you're authentic, you're beautiful, uh, your light irritates a lot of this person's, this person and other people's, but the thing is the beautiful energy, I'm here to bring that positive energy and faith, you have to have faith and trust, okay? Your person, if they are your person, they don't give a fuck what anybody has to say. They love you and they're gonna go for it. If they're hungry, they're gonna go get their food, right? If they're thirsty, they're gonna drink their drink, right? 
they want whoever they want, they're going to go towards you. Glory be to God. I'm telling you, God has given this person courage and strength to stand up to these toxic motherfuckers. Okay? They're all demonic. Okay? This is also, I'm feeling religious spirit. <laughs> I told you guys, right? The religious spirit also is attracted to narcissists and people with men, like really fucking toxic disorders. Okay? Uh, that they don't want to take accountability, they don't want to go to therapy, they don't see anything wrong with their doing, okay? And now your person is understanding why accountability is so important. Why being trustworthy and honest is important. Because they are in this karmic cycle with these people. And they have repeated the same thing. They, I, they probably withdrawal or they, they went back to a toxic thing. They're doing something again, karmic or codependent. To cope with the situation because they can't deal with the regret the shame and the guilt okay for what they did to you and also it's like it's crazy because this person keeps saying like i fought so hard <laughs> to not be like them to not treat someone i love or someone i care about just like they treat me and all my family and i did that to my person this is what this person can forgive themselves this is why you, your forgiveness not only sets you free as well, but also sets this person free. Okay? I know it's easier said than done, but work on this forgiveness, okay? Because this person needs that courage. You don't, whether they're with, they, I understand that they didn't choose you in the past. I get it. I understand. But you are an earth, you are like a twin flame earth angel chosen, okay? You, you, you. <laughs> you know it's like a christ like you know christ forgive forgive the unforgivable when they crucified him why can you do the same oh you think you're better than god then get the hell out of my channel please <laughs> please okay even myself like i i have to question that myself ask myself questions that's part of the shadow work that we need to be doing you don't know what other people are going through how they survive certain things how they're trying to survive right now it's very difficult going to ego death and spiritual awakening and i'm telling you right now this is how i like my bones i know it i know it what this person is going through not a, not no a normal human person cannot survive it this is what this person doesn't see it yet but they will god is going to continue revealing this could be the confirmation for this person who's watching and for the karmic mom karmic toxic people watching me go fuck yourself go heal you're a piece of shit trying to break these two because you are miserable inside and you don't want to see this person happy what you you must be the fucking low of the low and you seriously deserve exactly what you're getting okay Whoever this mom is, I don't know if you guys are a single mother or you have children or you are like, you're a really good mom, okay? Some of you, or you just like, if you don't have kids, you're very nurturing, very loving, you're very caring, okay? This person loves that about you. You want to know why? Because they didn't get it from their fucking toxic ass fuck mother. Yeah, I said it, bitch. You're a hoe. I see a lot of siblings. So this person also like men don't stay around with this person. They're fucking corrupt. They're racist. Racist. I keep hearing that. I heard it with that message. I heard it with the songs. Okay. A lot of you, your person, this is what they were doing. This is why they didn't choose you. This is why they, they judge you. Yes. And they feel like shit because that's not them. You wanna know why? Because you are their twin. <laughs> Just like you broke generational curses with racist people too. Mm? Racist family, racist blah, blah, blah. You cut the shit off and you are not afraid to cut people off. You have very good boundaries. Now you need to learn spiritual boundaries, especially with your person, okay? I feel like your person was taking your energy, draining you a little bit because this is very hard, but they have to do their own healing. They have to find that source, just like you did within them and God. That's their, their wealth, their peace, whatever they're trying to find. They have to find it with God first, and then you, and then you. Not you and then God. 
it, that, that's not how it works. So this person is kind of fumbling a little bit, you know, it's okay, we're not perfect, but that's the energy that they have to um, get their strength and courage from God. And they're getting a little bit from you, you know, their love, because I feel like their love language is physical touch. This is why they numb themselves with other people. This is why they feel like shit too. Like they're going through a cleansing as well because they can't believe there are certain people that they have slept with. They're like, ew, 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 okay? I'm not feeling this person is unhealthy. They don't have, thank God, glory be to God, they don't have any disease, but still ask for medicals, okay? But I'm not feeling that from this person. Man, people are noisy, man. Noisy as fuck. But then again, I'm being noisy by tapping into other people's energy. So you see, calling all the people, calling myself out. <laughs> Uh, at least we can laugh and make a joke out of it, okay? But don't do that. Because people are noisy, man. <laughs> like, they continue walking, but then they stop to hear what I'm saying. <laughs> I'm like, no, continue walking. That's why I keep pausing, because it's just people are noisy. It's okay, anyways. Um, that too, there you go. A lot of people are looking into this person's personal life and this empress who is a divine you are so like your energy is so sweet <sighs> ah this is why this person is so addicted to you you both are obsessed with each other okay i don't care what you gotta say you both you're not in contact you're in separation but you are both obsessed with each other who you like who you like <laughs> it's okay i mean i i will be because if this is the situation the background absolutely like it's so hard for this person to like even fucking breathe outside of this fucking family toxic as friend or whatever this person but they're not trapped though will enable this person keep having that queen king of soul queen king, king and queen of swords energy I have boundaries okay don't just take this person that second message part two this person has to earn your trust absolutely it's the same energy they have to earn your trust okay um, especially if they have done stuff that, you know, but they're being convicted. There is some conviction here. They're, this is why they want redemption. This is why they feel like shit. Okay. Uh, this is also the confirmation for them that the, the experience and the trauma and the energy that they're feeling right now, this awakening, this ego death that is happening, also feeling you moving on. But this is God actually, it's like, it's like, I need to work with this person. So please be obedient, divine feminine like learn to protect yourself like yeah sorry my battery is dying see uh learn to protect yourself this is too it's like it can be draining what's going on with this person that the depression anxiety is really intense okay and they probably seeking counsel psychological counsel they should okay anybody dealing with any depression anxiety or anything like that make sure that you're not only communicating with god but you're also seeking the proper counsel and therapies and authorities or whatever it is that you need okay don't just rely on a tarot reading or channel message to get your mental health in order okay this is just like guidance it's not like a like you get to be healed <laughs> do the sh like it's it's this work it's in the background it's not like you know what i'm saying um yeah, the beautiful thing is that your person is in the break of like, like I see this person like, like kind of like speaking up for the first time, like even people are seeing them, like they don't recognize them, like they're changing, their internal changes, but it's because you have initiated that. Because you're doing the work. You see, this is why it's beautiful because authenticity cannot be uh, faked. And this is how you know, is your message for the both of you. Um, I'm going to tap more into the energies when I get home and charge this phone. But for now, that's, that's what I was getting, that this person is surrounded by demonic, satanic people who are racist as fuck. And this person is finally like, whoa. And that too, they know that you're right. Some of you, you have said something. If you're a psychic reader, seer, prophetess or something, you mentioned something and it confirmed it to them that they're surrounded by a bunch of psychos and murders okay um that too this family is afraid that this person get out of their family because once they do not only they're in union with you you will reveal to this person the deeper secrets of their family and stuff like that okay they know some of it but i'm telling you right now divine masculine if this is you you have no idea what your family and friends do deeper deeper much deeper than you can ever imagine <laughs> you are their money pod 
they harness your energy. This is why you feel drained all the time. This is why you have a lot of anxiety and depression. You don't understand what's going on. Not only your surroundings, whoever you chose to mingle and exchange your fluids. Uh, all this of you, this person, it's not with anybody. And even if they are, they're not sexually active or something. Like, they're just not. They feel very disgusted at this moment. Yeah, so they did a lot of things also. Self-sabotaging, uh, they were projecting gaslight into you. I don't know, I feel like this person has like a whole like 360 and it's like a lot, it's like really overwhelming and consuming. Um, uh, if you have all the clairs, this person is activating the clair sentient, okay? This is why they can feel their family and friends, they're demonic. This person is praying also. So this is why they don't understand, like, why every time I pray, like, if I pray for my person, I pray for, like, you know, for situations and stuff like that, like, why am I getting more attacked? Welcome to spiritual, or spirituality. <laughs> it's not all happy love dandy. Why do you think loving Jesus, loving God is easy? My friend, why do you think it says love is a battlefield? But it's the best, okay? It's eternal love. It's like, it's like you don't choose anything else other than that you know and this person is realizing because someone here is very connected to the divine source you just it's just lovely and this person wants to like experience that because they never had that before and these people are jealous and envious by the way whoever this person was listening to which now they're like slowly but surely they're breaking off of this okay either they've done it or they're doing or this is something that they will do in the future um yeah, they, they, they love you. Uh, they want to show you off. They, they want you to have faith in them, that they feel this connection, that they're listening to intuition now, that they're not who they were in the past. Their heart is open. Like, you can hear them. If they're your twin, you can hear them. Right? Right here, in their heart. Okay? Um... But this person has to learn to uh, be emotionally available and vulnerable because they don't they don't have role models. I'm telling you, they grew up with like barely raised, honestly, or really toxic, abusive mother or parent. OK, that would give them the silent treatment that gaslight them, that will do all this fucking fucked up shit. This is why this person grew up like this. Like whenever someone show them true love or show them genuine love, they will push the person away or they will treat them in a certain way that it will be disrespectful, right? So a lot of y'all, this person um, did something, okay? And maybe some of you, if you're intuitive, high priestess is this beautiful, it's like, because you kept this in the quiet, you knew what they were saying, you knew that what this person, um, family or friends or anybody were saying that was not true, they could have spread rumors about you that was not true just to make this person not look at you in the right light. Again, there is some dark magic, witchcraft manipulation that has backfired. That's why I'm here too, boo. Because no weapon against us shall prosper. You know, when God says that it's gonna happen, it's gonna happen. And this is for real. So I need you guys to stop worrying so much and stressing so much and let this person show up when they're ready to show up. Because this healing, it's not like timed. You can't time someone's healing. You can't pressure someone. Like, it's their time. Just like you. You need to focus. Whatever you're doing, just continue doing it. It's working, boo. Whatever your prayer, whatever you're posting, whatever you're putting out there, whatever is helping other people, is making you happy and it's bringing joy and you're being creative. And you're not so focused or codependent on the fact that if you're in union with this person or not, it's beautiful. Okay? We feel it in the connected. That means that our job... And God's job, actually God's job, is actually the best job. Okay? Believe in yourself. Believe in this union. You guys are going to be together. I see it in this lifetime. Okay? Especially when this person, like, I see them, like, fuck this, fuck that. <laughs> and, like, bashing out and peace. And I don't know. I feel like they haven't done this because financially they've just been stocking money. They've been trying to save and also that too it's like if they had the spiritual awakening and ego death still surrounded by these people oh my god <laughs> i know that happened to me when yeah they don't want me to say this message uh when i was when my mom was passing away okay so 
a lot of things start like being clear it's like it was her spirit like kind of letting me know on her final days like I don't want you when I'm gone please don't be around these people and I was like okay and then God came through it's like that's the truth so what this person is getting something happened to them and my condolences if they someone in their family passed away or something like they ha there is a death or something happened okay with this person and you feel it you know that they're this is why they're grieving they're sad something happened okay and uh just send them love that doesn't i'm not telling you to detach or like you know like detach but in a healthy way like you can continue praying for them you can send them love you can continue your communication but not too much energy okay because this person needs to get on their own two feet okay they need to like after you show them how to ride the bicycle right how to uh heal themselves how to like you inspire guide them by you doing it yourself this is why you, this shit you cannot lie with this now you have to let them yeah they're gonna fall sometimes right to you know get back up without the you know the, the bicycles without the wheels in the back okay you were the wheels right so now god removed the wheels so that they can go on their bicycle way I hope that analogy makes sense, but you know how God is. He works with analogy. But I see this person, yeah, they're falling a lot, okay, in the bike. But you're kind of like mother. You're like, you're trying to catch them. You're trying to like, oh, I don't want them to get hurt. Oh, I don't, like, no. That's how they learn. It's okay. God got them. It's okay. Let them fall. God is there holding them. And you sending your prayers and good vibes is helping this person. You have to have faith. Whoever is listening to this, it's not easy to uh, break off from racists, narcissists, and stuff like that. I'm proud of you if you're doing that. Uh, that means you are a, a real trooper. Um, and make sure that you're, when you get together, do activism work, okay, where you both continue breaking the generational uh, curse that is that it was put a long time ago, that you both are here to break, okay? And you're doing it within your families first. So. If whoever did it first, congratulations, proud of you, okay? Continue having those boundaries. And if God said to close that door, close that fucking door, okay? It's for your own good. Some of you have some of racist, fucked up families. They just want to see you dead, that they have done death spells on you. They wanted to see you disappear. They wanted you to have Alzheimer's. What the? Fuck being calladita. You got to speak up, okay? Calladita means stop being silent. And silent calladita means like a little silent. No be loud and clear and truthful your mental health depends on it too you know and the mental health of other people you never know who is going through this fucking shit in silent man suffering in silent this is someone suffering in silent being oppressed isn't that crazy i feel like in a past life whoever they're surrounded with these were your oppressors whoever i'm speaking here someone comes from like you maybe you were in a slave plantation or something like that and your person was like you know wealthy or whatever or they had a you know rich ass family and some of you were their slave and they fell in love with you you were their twin but back then that didn't exist okay boo so this lifetime this person gets to see you again isn't that beautiful <laughs> and you're actually nobody's fucking slave that's the beauty of it you are a fucking goddess you came back racing from the ashes you're mystical you're god's chosen <laughs> And these motherfuckers, dusty ass bloodline, they're not. That's why they hate you. They can't stand you. They don't want this person to be entwined with you because they know that once your person is in cahoots with you, they can no longer benefit from this person. They can't harness the energy, the abundance, and the money that they're getting from this person. They're draining this person. They're going to, their next step is sacrifice them too. This is why God is removing this person, is asking this person to leave. They want to sacrifice them or this person is going to do something they that to sacrifice themselves for their family and stuff like that but it's a it's a plan it's a plot to sacrifice them i'm seeing joseph that story of joseph when you remember when the brothers took the brother uh this person could have a lot of dreams joseph was very prophetic okay and yeah i remember they that's fucked that story and sad man every time i read that story i start crying like crazy Okay, they sacrificed their brother. They sold him to, you know, and they wanted him dead. They tried to kill them, right? And it turned out at the end, they end up needing this person, right? So this is like maybe like a Joseph person that 
their brothers and sisters, their mom, their dad, they want, they've been sacrificing this person for years. They've been harnessing this person's energy for years. And this person was asleep and they wanted them like that. They wanted them conscious. They wanted them to stay like that. But this person is awakened because of you and God, of course. But specifically you, you activated this energy, this healing. And this person is so grateful for you, even though they're going through the worst time of their life. They're just happy and hopeful that they have you to rely on. So that's for someone. So yeah, the other thing is your person does not want you to move on with someone else. <laughs> this is why they're coming in like no tomorrow. This is why they're telling me everyone fuck off. Like they're getting from a dark place, getting on their feet. Um, they're done with the stagnation, they're done with the separation, they, they, they're they done, okay? So this is why the energy is like, even their family, their everybody is just like, like they're, this person is gonna shock everybody of the way that they're gonna start behaving, the way they're gonna, yeah. I feel like this person, like it was just, I don't know, they might be gathering evidence to, yeah. Like this is someone fighting between being loyal to the wrong people, corrupt and people that want to see them dead and you dead, or stay with these people, continue whatever they're doing, criminal activity and stuff like that. And like, they're doing something that if this person shows the evidence or speak up about what these people are doing or being doing in the background to other people, not just you, um, this person, yeah, this person has the capacity to put everyone in jail, even themselves too. You know, do a little bit of time because, yeah, I don't know if this person is involved, whatever these people have been doing. Maybe they're not. They're just maybe, hey, if you're complicit, you know, you're still guilty, right? So, but I feel like this person has a choice. They're going to give him a choice. Either you snitch, yeah, on all these people and like, yeah, make sure that these people don't do this stuff again to another person. I think that is the right thing to do that's just me my integrity popping out and justice and clarity okay and i'm sure god has spoken to this person that there are consequences for not speaking the truth and allowing these people to continue to do this horrendous stuff that they do to other people not just their divine feminine so this person knows that they have the capacity to put everyone in jail everyone so this is what this family are trying to hold something against this person as well, a secret or something that they have done in the past, something. Uh, it might be petty shit, to be honest, uh, but it might be something that this person does not want to out because it can ruin their reputation, it can ruin whatever they have worked so far, whatever they're trying to save up right now, stack money so that they can get away from these people. But eventually, this is what the energy is, is that the family are trying to prevent this person from getting away from them because there's they're and it's not because they love this person okay these people are fucked up and selfish and greedy as fuck okay it's not because it's not love it's because they're scared of this person um speaking the truth or you if you're intuitive and psyching and a seer absolutely um yeah you're gonna put yeah you have the capacity to make all these people pay you're someone's karma or even themselves like this person that's their karma and they know it so that's why they're trying to maybe like manipulate this person make them unhappy they don't want to see this person happy they don't want to see this person with joy being creative or whatever it is like they're making this person miserable and the only person that can help this situation is themselves so is this person connecting to god and getting the hell out of there and doing the right thing okay which i'm here to confirm that too they are glory be to god so have faith okay Keep the faith. Send them good jujus. Because you're a good juju. Muchacho. Muchacha, muchacho. Or someone here, like, maybe you're Latina or something. Or, I don't know. But you got some Caribbean, la Latina, or Latin, or, I don't know. You have some melanin. Maybe African, Jamaica. I don't know. You have this, this flair. This thing. <laughs> it's like your person can't get enough of. <laughs> Which is, I feel like is your joy, your creativity, your authenticity that give this person courage and strength. So 
continue being who you are okay it's not only helping this person it's helping a lot of people who live in fucking fake ass world okay your energy is needed okay so yeah i feel like this is your person's higher self continue baby continue okay you're looking good mm, yes you are okay your person is loves what he's seen okay he's so attracted to you he can't help himself okay and yeah they have to forgive themselves that's where they're going that's where there's a this purging this conviction it's not easy okay uh, there is uh, repentance lots of it for this person okay um yeah so good job wherever you are <laughs> oh my god this person is so funny okay the song start playing by itself again show you off he said you're worth it that you deserve it that you deserve this person to be in their best self that you deserve this person standing up for you standing up for like it's so like you're not their type but this person cannot get you out of their mind <laughs> like you really this person maybe pretended to be a player or could have been a player but it's like the player got played okay on their own game maybe they could have like played games or acted nonchalant or actually they don't care they don't care about you they're not interested in you and blah 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 to keep you away right to push you away because it's like your love is too overwhelming for this person Woo! they don't care they're going after you boo okay um yeah they know your your wall is the high as the freaking china wall of china okay um but they're gonna come in because they know they put those they know that they cost they cause the mistrust that you have on them and also they know that they cause you to build that huge as well i mean they probably saw you doing it in the spiritual realm and feel like shit. i, I see so you guys like you also could like battle each other like you're good like you're you're a match okay you put this person in this place and this person puts you in your place too which is healthy okay it's not all happy cold dandy but it's like healthy it's healthy man it's consciously healthy uh, habits and things that you're your options that you're doing like it's good it's so good yeah your person is like you're worth it that's what they're fighting for you and i'm telling you they're leaving everything behind even themselves their past selves everything they're cutting everyone motherfucker who try to intervene in this exes leaky links I, i'm seeing this person closing all their apps okay all their dating apps they're closing it like they're i think they've done it already like they don't want anybody else they know who they want they know now and especially they getting confirmations and dreams and that vision dream could be them as well i'm telling you they're coming mm. be ready though like don't be ready don't wait for it but just be ready okay like start shaving you know continue your workouts okay your meditations okay um just send them good jujus okay because uh, again what you send out there comes back to you so the more love that this person is gonna like send to you or more love you're gonna receive like even nature or thing and stuff like that like that's what it is like good does not bring any bad just give good jujus okay especially when your cup is full make sure you're being there for others and service and stuff like that okay because i'm telling you you're not you're not expecting this it's a surprise sorry that your person wants to give you a heads up okay so you're not too surprised <laughs> okay mm.